Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Tuesday, June 16th. It's 4 o'clock p.m. And I just wanted to share something with you and get your opinion. Now, I had never heard of this guy before, but one of you sent me the link to this video. His name is, let me pull this down. Wow, that sun is starting to get bright. Let's close it off there for a minute, see if that'll help things. Anthony Brian Logan and he's got quite a setup here 474,000 subscribers and in his description box for his video it says the shooting of a black man at Wendy's now he's a black man uh, and he's given his opinion on this shooting the shooting of a black man at Wendy's in Atlanta, Ray Shard Brooks, has captured the attention of mainstream media and peaceful prote protesters. Now, I wonder if he really meant the peaceful ones or the ones paid to be violent. Because he keeps calling them peaceful. L let me go on here. The peaceful protesters in Atlanta and the nation. The incident comes on the heels of worldwide protests against police brutality sparked by and then it says continue reading slash video sources and then there's lots of links. Okay so that's kind of crazy but uh, anyway I guess you have to click on that link continue reading you can't click on that but anyway we know police brutality was sparked by the George Floyd incident okay we already got that going on and then this happens in Atlanta he's saying that I they have I-75 interstate 75 I'm so familiar with Atlanta I've traveled to it so many times my parents lived in northeast Georgia we had to go through Atlanta we tried different routes to see which one was quicker anyway so I'm familiar with the I mean I do not see how they blocked off I-75 it is so wide it would take hundreds of people or if you only had um, a dozen well no you'd have to have at least 50 or you'd have like what that one man did in the the truck tried to run him over to get him out of his way because he needed to move that oil to wherever he was going well anyway unless that was a setup you just don't know what to believe anymore right anyway he's saying that they had I-75 and some other main road blocked off where the fire department couldn't get in to put out the fire that some young white girl set and they were blaming that on black people and they were saying no it wasn't us it was this young white girl and they had just stood around and didn't do anything and didn't call fire I don't know this guy he's good he presents himself well clearly he's got so many followers it's no wonder he I, <laughs> I look I'm just from watching him I'm like he had to have played ball in college and learned how oh ignore I know what that is excuse me one minute I know what it is. Hello? Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, I, I ordered Jasper a little hairbrush because the one I have is so wide and wiry. And then I've been using this and he, he hates it. But it's necessary. You got to do something to get the gnats out. Have, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> Not doing it now. Okay, anyway, that's what that was about. So, um, 
Uh, the point is, the way he presents this, I was convinced uh, this man uh, had fallen asleep in the line going up to Wendy's. And cars had to pull around him to go up to the window and get their food. So they were calling the police, you know. They got to do something about this guy. He fell asleep. Well, they get there, and he shows. You see video. The cop has the body video, and they're showing it. They're very polite. They get him out of the car. They talk to him. Everything's fine. They say, we think you've had too much to drink. We're going to give you a breathalyzer test. He, no problem. He took it. And they said, you've had too much to drink, and you cannot drive your vehicle home. We're going to have to arrest you. And they go to put the cuffs on, and then everything, all you know what, breaks out. The man ends up stealing the cop's taser gun, and running, and he gets shoot. He, they shot him in the back. I mean, two cops couldn't get him in handcuffs. I'm saying the man was on something. But and at first, the way he presented it, this man in this video, I was like, yeah, he was justified. That was justified. The title is The Atlanta Wendy's Rayshard Brooks Shooting Was Justified. But then, after thinking about it today, I watched this last night. My friend came over. She was so upset. Four little children are now without a dad. The mom is a widow. And he was only 27. So the kids can't be very old. And yeah, that was sad. But I thought, what if he goes and he tasers someone, steals their car, drives it down the road, kills somebody, trying to avoid, you know, getting pulled over. You know what I'm saying. Now who's responsible? Is the police department going to be responsible for letting him run away or what? So the way this man, Anthony Brian Logan, presents it, I feel like, yes, it was justified. But thinking on it more, I'm just giving my two cents here. And I'd like for you to watch this. It's not very long. 11, no, 18 minutes, 54 seconds. But you'll get to see the police video from the body cam. And then it falls off. And someone is clearly filming this from, like, one of the cars. They get out of their car and they're filming the fighting and the guy running and you can clearly see him turn around and shoot the taser at the cop. So what if he had disabled the cop and then stole his gun? So was he justified? I just want your opinion and to introduce you to this channel because I subscribed and because when these kinds of things go down, I'd like to know about them if I think it's something to pass on. Um, because we got all this police brutality stuff going on. Is this another case of that? Or were they justified? I'll leave it go at that. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll wait. Let me. Repeat, Anthony Brian Logan, if you cannot read the description box, the title again, The Atlanta Wendy's Ray Shard Brooks shooting was justified. Okay, so you can pull that up on your device and watch it yourself. And give it a thumbs up if he's right, thumbs down if he's wrong, whatever you think. So, um, now with that, I'll say bye for now, and I'll talk to you later. All right, maybe I'll find something better to report on, but this is, it's all tied in with the other. 
right on the heels of all this stuff going on, causing curfews and what have you, this happens. Now what? Okay. Bye for now. See you later.